Hello everyone, uh, this is Francisco again with Creator Scripts. I'm going to walk you through our uh, part three on how to uh, properly set subforms in Zoho Creator, part three. And what that means is uh, we've seen how you can fetch data, pricing information into the orders form. So now I'm gonna show you how you can total these rows in inside the form for a properly you know total amount so let's let's dive into that okay uh first obviously we're gonna have to have a let's i'm gonna do a suit total um just in case further down the road you may want to do tax uh value and then of course at the end uh, it's a total okay and uh, the first step is you go right into the subform and then there are a couple of things that you need to consider uh, when like the timing in which you want uh, all this information to be aggregated into the subtotal of the form so one of those timings is every time you add a row, right? But um, the first step is you need to declare a variable. I'm going to call it T equals, and since we're dealing with currency, it's a decimal value. Okay, so I'm going to save that. The second step is um, I'm going to run a for each record statement. So for each, and then I'm going to look... Uh, the item details collection you see this gives me the options of the collection of records of the subform within the form okay so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna call it rec for, for each record in the detail collection of the subform there is one thing I want to do I want to save I want to store the value T is going to be equal to rec subtotal right plus whatever it is i has i had stored in the value t before uh, and that's gonna give me like the aggregation of each of the rows okay so now once this is completed uh, the last thing to do is i want to set the variable in the form which is subtotal I want to map it to the defined variable t that I just created okay now this process we need to make sure uh, if you notice uh, I mean we're aggregating subtotal so what record what information has to be um, present in the record uh, in order for the subtotal in the row to be calculated. So I'm gonna add an if statement as, as a check. So I'm gonna say that the price is not null. So there must be a price. And also there must be a quantity, not null. If, if I have those two, I'm guaranteeing that there is a subtotal uh, calculation properly made, and then the aggregation will take place. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna save that script, and now what I wanna do is, um, I'm adding this script every time I add a row to the subform, but I also want to recalculate every time I may change the quantity so maybe I'm changing the quantity I want to do the recalculations here if I change the price I want to do the recalculations here uh, let me see when I select the product um, I want to do the recalculations here and notice how okay I already had the calculation for the sub, subtotal here. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna place it in quantity just to make sure that 
before I aggregate the subtotals, the, uh, if I change the quantity, the subtotal gets recal recalculated as well. So I'm gonna do the same for pricing. And bingo, this should be it. So let's let's put it to the test and see what we get. Okay, so I have an order. I'm gonna date it today. And then let's see, it's gonna open order. And then I'm gonna add a new record here. You notice how I got a zero. If I select product A, I'm gonna hit 125 and I get 125 below. If I add a new product and select product B, now I get the aggregation of these two, not as 424, it's the summatory of these two. And this is pretty much how you aggregate the information um, from your subform into the main form in Zoho Creator. So no matter how many products you add, it's gonna keep adding all the way down uh, as many records to their subform as you add, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. I'll share the script on the blog and uh, uh, good scripting. Take care, my friends.